Okay, Brian from Garage Mahal. This is going to be the advanced video on how to reset your DIY Mr. Cool uh, video. Uh, basically, if you look up here on the tags, you're going to see how much coolant that you're actually going to need. Um, it says right here. Refrigerant. I'll take a picture of it, but 63.5 ounces. So you're going to need a scale. You're going to need a tank of the 410A refrigerant, uh, which I'll set up that you can get that through me, as well as links on where to buy all this stuff from. You're going to need a vacuum pump because you're going to have to bring this unit down completely. Uh, and while I think about it, let me grab an extension cord. Okay, so that's how much refrigerant you're gonna need for this whole unit. Now this unit is working good and I had actually done a recharge kit on this and it worked great for another few months. But the problem is that these little seals in here, these little valves, and I'll show you this kit as well, but it's gonna be this valve right here. This little, little ring on the bottom goes bad on these. So you end up having to replace them. So that's what we're going to do now. We're going to bring, bring this down to a vacuum. And then we're going to recharge a unit up to 63 and a half ounces using the scale, using that tank, and a couple other things. Uh, you also need the adapter, which I have in here somewhere. But I'll show that to you as we get going. Oh, it's on the end of this. This is our good adapter that we use. So we can hook that up to the kit and get that going. But anyway... So first things first, we have to draw a vacuum on this. So we open this up, which I had pre-loosened, but you should definitely, you know, hand tight on that. And then we are going to put this end. You have two different ends of these hoses. So when I put the links to the gauges, you're going to have a bare end and then an end that you can basically uh, hit these little valves and open them with. Okay, so gloves for safety. Make sure you plug, put this adapter on. All right. So we got that tightened down. And so we're going to put the yellow end, the open end, onto the vacuum pump. And we're going to open this so that's not open. Make sure this one's closed. That's closed, that's open. Okay, then this is gonna be the one that we put on this end to draw the vacuum. Okay. So turn the vacuum pump on. Okay, after about 15 minutes, we're just about at zero. And what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna actually take the lines off and disrupt the vacuum so we can actually get that valve that is bad in here out and replace it with our core remover. So we're just about there. I think that's probably good enough that we can stop it for the time being. And we're going to disconnect this line. So most of the pressure is basically just about gone on here. So we're going to put this core remover in here. I'm going to take it out. So 
So, and that's the valve that basically that goes bad on you. So we're just gonna take one out and compare the two. So this is one on the left, and then the new one is gonna be the one on the right. So basically it's gonna be a brand new core that we're putting in there. Okay, so silver one's the new one. And that's the old one. And we're gonna put it on the end of this. And then we're gonna put it up in here. And tighten it down into place. Okay, make it snug. Okay, and that's all we needed. And we're gonna put this line back on. So that valve's nice and tight. So we're gonna turn the pump on again. This time we're gonna watch the needle and it's gonna draw a negative vacuum. So it's gonna suck any humidity that we have trapped in the line completely out. And again, this will take another couple minutes. Okay, so once we're basically at a tight number, We're going to turn the vacuum pump off and make sure that that needle doesn't move. So we're going to watch it for a couple minutes. Okay, so looks like we're holding a sufficient of vacuum, so it looks like there's no leaks in the system. So we're going to turn the pump on again, draw a little bit more of a vacuum on it, just do a double check. Okay, so we're holding a good vacuum, so we're actually going to close this off, and we're going to remove this line. Now we're going to get set up for the charge. So we're going to hook this, this tank up. Again, so you have it for the open side. So you can see that. We'll hook this line on. Pull that valve up. Okay, so now that valve's open. Put it back on the scale, make sure it levels off here real quick. Shaking a little bit so the weight's gonna go back and forth. Because I had to level this off. Okay, now I think we're good. Okay, so we're gonna open this a little bit. And what that does is it just purges the air out of the system completely. Okay. Now we're gonna turn the unit, we're gonna open this valve up. Yeah, it's going to start letting the system fill so you can see the, the ounces go down. So we're going to let charge for a little bit first before we actually turn the unit on. So it's filling up pretty good. And hopefully you'll be able to see that scale going up. I think time to put this valve course system away. Okay, 
And when you start seeing a slowdown, then you have to have someone turn the unit on. So it clicks on. Hey, Sin. Yeah. Turn that on 62 and cooling. Okay. All right, so the unit will turn over and this will help draw more of the coolant in a little bit faster. be able to hear the compressor spin up right about now so it's going to draw this in a lot faster for you <laughs> and always keep it check on the pressure here but everything looks good so far I believe it's gonna sit somewhere around the 150 mark when it's completely full Now, because you're going to carry about, like, maybe about an ounce in these lines, it calls for 63 and a half ounces. So we're going to go to about, like, 64, 64.2, just to make sure we got enough. And plus, when you disconnect that valve, you are going to lose a little bit of pressure in there. Ounces. So we're going to go to a little bit like 64.2, I think is what we'll aim for. So it's 63. Sixty-four, and we'll close it now. Okay, so that valve's closed off. So now we can take this off as quick as we can get it. This is going to be on there pretty tight. Okay, and that's all there is to it. Put this little closed valve on. Make sure it's snug. I'll put this up here. And then that's it. Your system is recharged and should be working properly. Now all we have to do is a little bit of cleanup. And we're good to go. Uh, Brian from Garage Mahal, uh, thanks for watching and subscribing.